Howdy guys, Nintendo Capri Sun here, and welcome back to Pokemon Omega Rui. In the last episode, I don't remember what happened, but I'm not even sure. So, a couple of things here. Ugh, I've been sick the last couple of days. I don't know what it is. Something in the weather around here or something has really got the best of my allergies. And just I guess it's the change of seasons or something. I don't know. Whatever it is, it's really been messing me up. So, uh, anyway... So I'm actually post-commentating this, because I figured while I'm sick, I can't really record, but I could still, like, play the game, you know, and get the footage, because if I could just edit the game footage, that would take care of 90% of the work, and then I could just come back and commentate whenever I felt like it, and I don't know, I mean, I felt like commentating right now, so I'm going to try and do my best here, and hopefully this works out, but, shoot, there goes the Pokeball. So there's going to be, like, a lot of cuts here where I, like, talk through the cut as though, like, it's continuous and it won't make sense. So that's why that is, is because... Mmm. Just because... Because I had to edit this footage. Or because I've been editing this footage for the last day or so. Where's the... Oh, and you know what else? There's going to be no game sound for the first, like, three minutes of this because I forgot to turn my 3DS volume up when I was recording. So that's why there's no game sound. I'll probably explain that sooner. Okay, a couple of other things is, off-screen, I brought Doc Ock into the party. You might have noticed that. I also taught Cut to NyQuil, just to get that out of the way. And I taught Fly to Valerie, so that's taken care of. I could have taught it to Victorious, too, but I decided not to. See, there's a Cut right there. I was trying to get, like, get through these battles as quickly as I could, because it's a long stretch between here and the next gym. And this whole, like, Route 20, Route 120, Route 121 thing, it's a long stretch. So I did that, I taught Fly to Valerie, like I said. I also went back and got more Moo Moo Milks. So now I have those in my inventory, which is good. I don't remember what I was doing here. Probably something stupid, because that's... <clears throat> you know, par for the course here. Well, now that I... Oh, well... The thing is, I could have kept Matang in the party, but I already have Rick Astley and Victorious. Or, well, just Victorious, but... The thing is, I had too much Psychic in my party, so I needed to kind of balance it out. Plus, I wanted to bring Doc Ock, because he could be useful against some of the... Some of the grass-dark types that we're going to be seeing in this area. So... Good on that, I reckon. Otherwise, not a whole hell of a lot going on. As you can, I backed over, but I, do, I backtracked here to get this ball. <clears throat> because I didn't want to, you know, do whatever. Oh, man, I can hear that buzzing in the speakers. Eventually, the sounds just come back. I don't remember when it is. It seems to be taking forever, though. So here I used cut. And I got a little confused here because I knew there was supposed to be a rare candy hidden up here, but I couldn't find it, and I was like, oh, wait a minute, it's probably hidden. And then I remembered that the game gives you this thing to look for hidden items, a dousing machine, which I haven't been using all this time. So I put it on, and I look silly, but... <laughs> but now I know how to use the dousing machines. I'll be using that a little more in this playthrough, hopefully. And there you go, rare candy, so hell yeah. I do actually use my two rare candies eventually at some point. Oh, there it is. There's the game sound. I knew it was coming back sooner or later. <laughs> Silly me and all my mistakes. Tell you what, man. Cast form. I think this is the guy that changes with the weather. So I kind of had to improvise here, but I figured, you know, in the rain, probably electricity would be the way to go, so that's kind of what I did. But... This is a lot of experimentation, also a lot of really long, sad battles that will hopefully not be nearly as painful after after having, you know, having cut out the worst of it. Like, there's a Swampert that comes up later. You know, I should just stop spoiling things and just let this play out. So I hope everybody's doing alright. Today's Friday, October 9th. I'm going to Atlanta. <clears throat> on the 22nd to do more Runaway Guys shit, so looking forward to that. <laughs> you hear me rubbing my hands because I can actually do that. 
because I'm not holding the 3DS in my hand, so I can do all kinds of stuff with my hands that I couldn't normally do in a video like this. I can't think of anything to do but snap my fingers. <clears throat> and oh my god, I'm still so... Hmm. It's tempting to open my window because it's really nice out today, but at the same time, I think that's part of the reason that I've been so bad. So eventually I figured out here that the treasure it was alerting me to was on the other side of that little grass peninsula. It took me a while to figure that out, so... So yeah, you know, we're gonna take care of that. This route is a little more complicated than I expected it to be, because I thought it was just gonna be a one-way shot, but there was like stuff all over. <laughs> stuff to find. Milotic. Okay, I found that Phoebus earlier in the LP, the fish guy, and I was like, I couldn't remember the name of what it evolves into. This is what it evolves into, is this guy. And isn't that a cool looking Pokemon? I like it. So naturally I started with electricity thinking, oh this won't be so bad, and then he comes back and hits me with that. Confuses me. And I think, well you know, what did I do then? Let's see. This is gonna be as entertaining for me as it is for you guys, because I don't remember what I did. All I remember is that it was stupid. Somebody dies in this battle. I don't remember who it is. It's not him. So we got this recover nonsense, and here I'm thinking, hmm, should I throw out the heal block, or should I just try and get this over with? That I did by accident right there. But then I was like, well, I've already pressed the button. I might as well go ahead and just evolve. See, I didn't realize you could do this just as often as you wanted to. I would have thought there would be some kind of limit to it, but... There doesn't seem to be, so I guess, you know, whatever. We're gonna try not to use it too much. So he throws out his water. His water ass. That was crazy, though. I don't know. Psycho Shift? I didn't realize it at the time. I thought it was an attack move, but it's not. <clears throat> it actually... Mm, ugh. I hate when I sound like this. So I tried Dragon Breath, yeah. I think that worked out pretty well. I think that's how I actually ended up killing him. Maybe nobody died in this fight. I thought somebody died in this fight. There goes my next one. I think that was another cut. It's hard for me to tell. Because when I'm editing this on Vegas, there's like, it's a really small screen. Do -do -do -do. Yeah, buddy. Telekinesis. I think I ended up passing on that. Gosh, such an airplane, man. Such a huge-ass airplane. Every time I see that, I think I'm flying. <laughs> He's flying! And I was also watching Conspiracy Theory, the movie, as I was playing the game, so... There may have been times I got a little distracted and started watching the movie, so I had to cut those parts out, too. I fought a lot of these guys. So I ended up having to cut out, like, five or six of those. I only left that particular one in because I gained a level there, so I thought, you know. It should probably show that. Every time it gets to a point in the video where I know there's not a cut for the next minute or two, it worries me because I think, oh no, we got a bunch of boring crap coming up. There's so much, like all this grass and all these trainers. And I found a nugget. Because nuggets are good. Especially chicken nuggets. I was going to say I could go for a chicken nugget right about now, but I'm not actually very hungry. I just ate, so... It's always good to have just eaten. But at the same time, it's not, because then it's like there's nothing to hope for or look forward to. What are you doing with my Doc Ock? You can't... Just whatever. So it turns out, I, you know, it's one of the advantages to fighting Pokemon that you already have is that you already know what they're weak against, so you just throw it out there. I don't know why I was so slow putting in my command there. Probably because I was staring off at Julia Roberts' this fine ass. That conspiracy theory is one weird movie. Because, like, it's a love story, but at the same time, it doesn't play out like one. It's like, it's, I don't know how to describe it, really. I remember that I went and saw it at the theater like three times back in the day. There's only very few movies that I've ever done that with. The Butterfly Effect and Conspiracy Theory. 
I think I went and saw Liar Liar three times. Took my sister one of those times. Because I remember we were sitting in the theater and they hadn't started the movie and we were sitting there waiting and we ended up sitting there and eating almost all of our snacks before we finally figured out it wasn't playing. We had to go out and tell somebody, hey, this, the movie ain't started and they're like, oh, okay, we'll fix it. Mm, what am I doing here? I seem to be wandering. I was probably hoping something would turn up on my... Oh, it is. It's my thing, my dousing machine. But what is this? Skyward Sword? I mean, really? Got a wiki berry. Got the wiki wiki wild 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 west. Okay. I'll do that. It's like, I have no idea where I am right now. I guess this is like a big berry picking place or something. There's like a lot more of them around here. I just didn't happen to wander really in the direction where the majority of them turn up. But oh well, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter, head sex. Gomez. See, this is why I brought Doc. Oh, because of shit like this. So all I had to do was, well... See, and I cut out some of this battle because he kept blocking my turns with that. So I was like... <clears throat> but eventually I got one to go through. Not before he hit me first, but... Uh, good old silver wind. Gotta love it. Boom! Yeah, I'm starting to feel better though, thank goodness for that. I mean, if I had to get sick, it makes sense to go ahead and do it now before I go to Atlanta, so I'm not sick in Atlanta and passing it on to Chugga and them. Besides, we got big plans this time. I need to actually, like, study up on the game we're playing a little bit. The thing is, I've already played it, so, um, I don't want to give it away what it is, but... Yeah, there is that. I'm almost caught up on Steven Universe. I got like four or five episodes left, so I have to go ahead and take care of that. Whoop, 35. Good deal, Lucille. <laughs> I, I can't help it, man. I always want to sing along to this. Wasn't this another dead end? I don't remember. Ooh, there's a ninja right there. <laughs> so we got another cut here coming, and he must have sent out something stupid. Oh, this guy. Yeah. I don't really remember what happened here. I think I like switched into Rick Astley and tried to use fire because I figured fire on bug, but it didn't work out all that well. Because the move that he has, Fire Spin, is not the biggest... I mean, it's good for getting and burn on a monster, but it's not really good for straight up DPS, if you know what I mean. Plus, he kept avoiding everything that I threw at him, so I was like, oh, jeez. Shoot! How did I lose the beat, man? I don't know. I got the speakers turned down pretty far, though, so I can barely hear what's going on. So that's probably why. God, it was such a pain in the ass trying to edit this too, because I was gaining so many levels. Tyler was about to gain one here. Okay, Stone Edge, I was going to learn this. I wanted to, because it seems really powerful. But 5 PP, I just couldn't... I don't know. I thought I'd rather have Rock Slide with 10 PP than Stone Edge with 5. So, yeah. It's probably a dumb move, but I don't know. It's like... Is this, usually PP doesn't factor into whether or not I keep a move, but in that case it did. Oh, man. What am I doing now? Oh, Psychic. Yeah, got it. Mm. Sometimes I don't like using Victorious because it feels like I'm cheating, you know? It's like he's a legendary. Should I really be doing that? I might put him away a little bit later. Besides, I got enough V names in here as it is. There's been at least one time that I've actually meant to switch in Valor and switched in Victorious by accident because I didn't read the name. 
So I was like, oh geez, what just happened here? Jeez, Mr. Kneeling, dude, Mr. Chip. It's Flip, right? Yup, it's Flip. Hmm. Bow toy, he looks like a toy. Eh, not much to see there. He switched his attack and defense. And I just used- Oh, the nose pass! Okay, this is- this is bad. This was where I died. See, I shouldn't be spoiling it, but then again, it's like, oh wow, you're- You're gonna be all in suspense of whether or not I, you know, did whatever. So we did this, and I thought, well, shit, that was pretty powerful. And then a the second one came, and I'm like, what? And then a third one, I was like, no, I'm done with one HP, I just barely survived- NOSE! 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 Okay, anyway. Sometimes I do that when I blow my nose. Or if I sneeze, I'll be like, Hutch! NOSE! Just screaming at it to stop exploding and stop it's making me jack back and the aeroplane flies high, seeks left, looks right. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm done trying to explain that. I'm not even going to attempt it. Rock slide, that ain't gonna do nothing. What are you doing? Wait? Well? It doesn't, I don't know. You think I would remember what type of nose pass is, but I don't remember. I'm not even gonna try to guess because I'll just make an ass of myself. Just like how I said, oh, Undertale, that wouldn't be a good LP because it's just a maze of text boxes. And you're saying that after you just spent the last year LPing Phoenix Wright. What kind of an idiot am I? Like, I can't believe that I would make an argument with that big a hole in it and not think... I don't know, it bothers me. It honestly bothers me that I didn't think about that when I said that. Like, am I really that blind to my own lack of logic here or what? I don't know. I mean, that's one of those cases where I'm so embarrassed about what I said that I don't even want to imagine what the reaction was to that. It's almost tempting to go back and go ahead and do Undertale as an LP just to spite myself. <laughs> yeah, like I need any more convoluted reasons to start LPs up. I tell you, man. Besides, everybody else is already doing it anyway. Game Grumps are doing it, Commander Holly's doing it, Dodger's doing it. It's like at this point, it's practically a pacifist run to not LP the game. While everybody else does the usual thing, you know. <laughs> Barry Master. What I really should do is just play some Mario Maker levels on here. Because the thing is, even though I've, I haven't brought out my Hapash since I moved back here. If you're back here, what am I talking about? My Hapaj is still in a box somewhere. And I think I actually have two of them, but... Anyway. But I haven't used it since I've been here, because every single thing that I've recorded has been on the 3DS. Or on an emulator. So at some point, I'm going to have to bring it out here so I can do these other games like Mario Maker or... Metroid Prime 3 or anything else that... You know, that's on the Wii U or whatever. Or, uh... What's the other one? And there are other stuff. And then there's like Plants vs. Zombies 2 from my phone. I've been doing that. But nothing with a pause. There goes another cut. I wanted to use Doc Ock here, but he was dead, so it's like, oh, well, shit. So I just used Fly for the first time, and well, I was pretty impressed with that, so. I use it a lot more now that I've seen how powerful it is. So much power! I'm crazy. It's my electric. Yeah, I never know what to do with electric types. Eventually, I started using Psychic on them because <clears throat> because that seems to be like the best thing. I can't help but wonder if there are certain types that work like maybe 10% better than other types against something. Because it seems like, just maybe. I know there is some kind of a random element to it overall. But it seems like it would be interesting if there were maybe, I don't know, more than just, like, super effective 
regular and then non-effective, and then zero. Like if there was a like a level in between effective and super effective, maybe there's like hidden factors in there or something that we don't know. I don't know if anybody's ever like studied that. It would be interesting to know if you could use like I don't know, like Psychic against Electric, for example. It seems to work really well most of the time that I've tried. So and even if the difference is only like 10% still, I mean, that's... It could be the difference between victory and defeat, you never know. There's another Kotzlia. I don't know why I left this battle. I thought I cut out all these. Because I'd already shown myself fighting one. That's right, he turned himself into rock. Oh, and then grass. So I was like, okay, you're going to be grass. I guess I'll use some fire spin on you. Is that what I did? No, I guess no. Tell me I didn't change. You, you changed? What'd you do that for? I guess I thought, well... Jeez. What? Why did I do that? Maybe I misread something. I could have sworn it said he turned grass. Why would I use electric on grass? Oh, I know what I was doing. I was trying to catch him. That's what I was doing. That's why I did that. Okay. Yeah, one more. One more spark, I think. I never had to throw more than one ball to catch anything. I caught something else later up on Mount Pyre, but we'll get to that when we get there. <clears throat> I'm so sorry about this. <laughs> I'm sorry. Right. When I felt like comment, when I feel like commentating, I'm going to commentate whether you like it or not. I mean, in fact, we're already over 20 minutes here, so I'm gonna stop somewhere. Maybe here would be good. I don't know. Actually, I probably will stop it here, so that way I can go ahead and split this up and get it done. So, so I caught me a Kecleon. You can imagine what I <laughs> what I changed his name to. And if you can't, well, here you go. Kotlia. Of course. Because I'm crazy!